The QHY-168C is a high-performance, cooled camera with a low-noise, high-sensitivity, APS-C format Sony color CMOS sensor. A modified version of the QHY-168 is also available that has had the Bayer filter matrix and micro lens array removed from the sensor to produce a monochrome camera. Except for the modification to the sensor, the color camera and monochrome camera are otherwise identical. The heart of the 168C is the Sony IMX071 Exmor CMOS sensor. The IMX071 is a 16 megapixel, 14 bit, low noise, high sensitivity color sensor with 4.8 micron pixels. This is the same sensor used by Nikon in the D5100 and D7000 cameras. In the QHY-168C, this sensor has only 2.3 electrons of read noise at high gain. Even at low gain, the read noise is only 3.2 electrons, and the dynamic range is around 14 stops. Sony's Exmor technology increases the effective light grasp of the pixel by providing as much free aperture as possible for each pixel and using a gapless microlens structure to direct more incoming light to the photo sites. Physically deeper pixel wells are also more effective at capturing the longer wavelengths, increasing the sensor's sensitivity to red light and thus making the QHY-168C color camera excellent for capturing the H-alpha emission so common in many deep space objects. While the 168C has the same CMOS sensor as that used in the Nikon cameras, unlike the consumer cameras, the QHY-168C offers true raw image output. In the DSLR implementation, there is a raw image output, but typically it's not completely raw. Some evidence of noise reduction and hot pixel removal is still visible on close inspection. However, the QHY-168C offers true raw image output and produces an image comprised of only the original unprocessed signal, thereby maintaining the maximum flexibility for post-acquisition astronomical image processing programs. In addition to efficient two-stage thermal electric cooling, QHY-CCD employs a unique thermal noise control technology to reduce CMOS sensor noise to a very low value without affecting the integrity of the raw image. This proprietary technology can be found to improve noise performance across the whole medium cold MOS product line, yielding much better noise reduction than competing camera models. With the sensor cooled to minus 15 degrees, the QHY-168C dark current is less than a thousandth of an electron. With such low dark current and such low read noise, the QHY-168C is uniquely capable at taking both long exposures for deep space imaging and multiple short stacked exposures for planetary and other bright object imaging. Long exposures are further enhanced by the complete reduction of amplifier glow that can be problematic for some CMOS sensors. In the QHY-168C, there is zero amplifier glow, no matter how long the exposure time. Short exposures are enhanced by the fast frame rate of the camera. The QHY-168C produces high resolution, 14-bit images of the full field of view at 10 frames per second. For planetary imaging, smaller regions of interest can be recorded at up to 130 frames per second, depending on the frame size. The QHY-168C has a 120 megabyte DDR2 image buffer to cache the image and avoid the risk of a frame loss. The image data is stored in memory immediately after acquisition and then transferred to the computer from the memory buffer. This avoids problems of a busy USB port when there are other peripherals using the same port as the camera. The QHY-168C benefits from more than a decade of cooled camera design experience. QHY-CCD has implemented full anti-dew and anti-frost control solutions. 
Unlike DSLRs, the sensor in a dedicated astronomy camera is often thermoelectrically cooled to low temperatures in a sealed chamber to reduce the noise that otherwise accumulates in long exposures. Dew is moisture that condenses onto the outside surface of the chamber's window due to the cooling of the sensor inside the chamber. Frost, on the other hand, is moisture that freezes on contact with the inside of the chamber window when the temperature of the chamber is reduced below zero degrees. To help prevent either of these conditions from interrupting your imaging session, the QHY-168C camera has an integrated drying port on the side of the chamber accessible by the user from the outside, where a desiccant tube can be attached to eliminate any moisture-causing frost in the chamber. A desiccant tube is included with the camera. Additionally, to prevent dew, the light shield over the chamber window is equipped with built-in heating elements to keep moisture from condensing on the outside of the chamber window. In order to avoid halos around bright stars, the QHY-168C has a multi-AR coded optical window rather than the common IR cut window for single shot color cameras. This permits full access to the red wavelengths of H-alpha and S2 without attenuation by the window coating. For RGB color balance, without passing the near IR wavelengths above 700 nanometers, a separate removable two inch UV IR filter with the desirable passband characteristics is placed in a custom filter holder in front of the camera. Each camera is carefully calibrated at the factory with a high precision axis measurement device. Orthogonal placement of the sensor is guaranteed to be flat to the image plane to 20 microns across the center from edge to edge. So there's no need to adjust the camera tilt absent mechanical errors elsewhere in the image train. The QHY-168C has a short back focal distance, allowing the use of QHY CCD's half millimeter to 27 millimeter spacers in step sizes of a half a millimeter for best flexibility in setting up your optical train. The QHY-168C is available from your favorite QHY dealer at the new lower price of $13.99.